Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about attacking and transitioning from the baseline to the non-volley zone. Let's jump right in. All right, so before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. We really appreciate it. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my traffic light outfit here. If you haven't seen our previous video about attacking from the net, go check that out. In that video, I was talking about the visual of a traffic light, and we're gonna use that same visual today. So we're gonna talk about this red zone here from my knees to my feet, okay? Any ball I contact in that red zone area. And we're going to talk about this yellow zone from my knees approximately to my waist or my navel area. And we're also going to talk about this green zone from my navel or waist area and pass up past my head. So I think this is going to be a really good visual for you as we talk about transitioning from the baseline to the non-volley zone. Now let's jump right in. All right, so let's quickly set the stage here. Now we're talking about the serving team after you and your partner have served and your opponents have returned the ball, you are at the baseline hitting your third shot. So after you or your partner hit that third shot, I think this is the very difficult part for a lot of players. What to do after their third shot and how to make it up to that non-volley zone. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. Now I think it's going to be helpful to kind of explain what I'm thinking after I hit my third shot drop. After I hit my third shot drop, I try my best to assess the quality of the shot. If it's hit into the red zone, which means they have a contact below knee level, I will come in as quick as I can and try to get up to that non-volley zone. But if I can't, I'll stop and split step so that I can be ready for the next ball. So right after a good third shot that forces my opponent to contact in the red zone, I'm gonna come up as far as I can, split step and try to control that ball and hit a neutral ball and then make my way to the non-volley zone. Oh hey, didn't see you there. If you're really liking this content, please give this video a like. We really appreciate it, all right? Now, let's get back to the video. Now, if their contact point is in the yellow zone, I'll be very cautious and I may take a few steps in, taking into consideration their attacking ability and my ability to hit a neutral shot into the kitchen if I have to. If their contact point is in the green zone, I'll stay all the way back behind the baseline to defend a very offensive ball. So hopefully these little tips will help you. Notice that the decision of me coming up or staying back really hinges on the quality of that third shot drop. So the best thing that you can do is get out there and drill these third shot drops so that you can be quicker at assessing the quality of these third shot drops. All right, so now let's get more in depth of what I'm thinking when I'm starting to make my transition to the non-volley zone. Like I said, after I assess the quality of that drop, I'll start to make my way up to the non-volley zone. And one thing that is really important that I always make sure is that I am split stepping and I'm never getting caught in transition. So as you see here, as Katrina hits the ball to me, I'm never getting caught hitting the ball while I'm moving. I always stop and split step before I hit the ball. After my third shot, I'll try to cover as much ground as I can and then come to a split step to be prepared for the next ball. This is key in transitioning. It is so difficult already to hit these balls in the transition zone. So I wanna do my best to be stopped so that I have complete control over my balance and my body. Now, as I'm making my way through the transition zone, I'm looking for balls to attack. 
Let's first talk about this red zone and let's see a few balls that are hit below my knees. Anytime you are transitioning and you get balls hit at this red zone, the best thing that you can do is to hit a neutral ball into the kitchen to prevent them from continuously attacking you. Here's an example of me attacking very low from the red zone and watch here as Katrina makes me pay for it. Now if I get balls in this yellow zone, this is when I really need to be picky on which balls to attack. Remember, anytime you are attacking from this yellow zone, you are still attacking in an upward trajectory. So this means that your opponent will have the chance to hit down. So if you choose to attack from this yellow zone, you really want to be aware of the counter-attacking and attacking skills of the net player. Now most likely after the third shot drop, the opponent at the net is going to try their best to keep their ball at my feet. But if they leave that ball a little high and I could contact the ball from this green zone, I'm for sure going to attack that ball and make them pay. Here's a couple clips of my transition as I get some balls in my green zone and I attack it well. All right, so hopefully this video was very helpful to you. And hopefully this is just a really good visual to get you thinking about attacking when you are making your way through the transition zone. All right, you really want to make sure that you're hitting neutral balls, especially when you get attacked below your knees. Now, when you get to this yellow zone and you're making contact, around this yellow zone those are balls that you can attack on but you really want to be cautious and you really want to be aware of the attacking and counter-attacking skills of the players and your opponents at the net all right and when you get a ball in this green zone and you can have a high contact and hit down on those are the balls that you want to attack and go for and be really aggressive on Hopefully this video was really helpful to you and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.